On a hot summer's day, the sun broiling the countryside, a fox strolled through an orchard. He had nothing in mind, just ambling along. All at once, he came to a bunch of grapes that were ripening on a trellised vine. He sniffed, suddenly both hungry and thirsty. Just the thing for a hot summer's day. Drawing back a few paces, the fox then ran forward and leaped into the air, snapping at the grapes with his teeth. But he missed by no more than an inch, and his teeth clicked together, snip, snip, snap. Turning around, he went a little further back, then ran forward faster, jumped higher, but alas, missed again. A third, a fourth, and a fifth time he tried to get that tempting morsel, but each jump was less successful than the last. Finally, panting and perspiring under the hot sun, he walked away with his nose in the air. I didn't want those grapes anyway, he told himself. I'm quite sure they're sour. This fable is one of many credited to the great Greek storyteller Aesop. Little is known about him. According to some sources, he was a deformed slave who lived on the island of Samos in the 6th century BCE. It is said he was freed by his master as a reward for his great learning. As a free man, he became an ambassador for King Croesus of Lydia, now part of Turkey, who ruled from 560 to 546 BCE. Eventually, Aesop was executed in Delphi while on a mission for the king. Did Aesop really write all the fables credited to him? Some scholars believe that these tales were collected from many different sources and were not all written by one man. Some scholars even believe the fables were written by a woman. Aesop's fables have had a number of retellers, including Babrius, Phaedrus, and most notably, the French writer La Fontaine, who put them down in verse. In modern times, the stories have often been made into children's books as single stories, as well as collections of the most popular tales. Fruit Salad Use only sweet fruit, never sour. Serves a family or a party. Equipment Sharp knife, melon baller, optional, cutting board, rubber spatula. Ingredients Fruit, any kind. Good options include watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew melon, pineapple, strawberries, star fruit, apples, oranges, tangerines, peaches, and of course grapes. For the top, fruit you don't want to mix in because they are more delicate and pretty, try one or several of these. Blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, or kiwi. Directions. Wash and prepare the fruit. Melon, cut in half, discard the seeds, and scoop out the flesh with a melon baller or a spoon. Melons can also be cut into cubes with a knife. Citrus, such as oranges, peel and remove pith, white part. Section, remove seeds and cut into chunks. Other fruits, peel, if necessary, and cut into chunks. 2. Squeeze an orange and pour the juice over the fruit salad. 3. Mix with the rubber spatula. 4. Put topping fruits on top. Cover and refrigerate until ready to eat. Variations. All fruit salads are different depending on the seasonal fruit available. Some fruit can be pre-cut and even canned but always use as much fresh fruit as possible. Putting your fruit salad in a carved out watermelon is always a welcome party treat. Facts about grapes. One, grapes are actually considered berries and average 100 berries to a bunch. Two, table grapes can be green, red, and blue-black. Oddly, green grapes are called white. Three, the old French word grape meant a vine hook. The English word grapple comes from it. 
For years, the English did not call the fruit grapes, but wine berries. Four, many insects can damage grapes. Grape leaf roller, climbing cutworm, flea beetles, grape berry moth, aphids, and Japanese beetles, among others. Five, in the United States, 97% of table grapes are grown in California. Six, grapes can be used in many ways, eaten plain, dried for raisins, made into juice, wine, jelly, and jams, or as sweeteners in other cooked products.